Hello TOEFL students! Today you will learn about skill 5 and then we will review skills 3, 4, and 5. Skill 5 are pronoun reference questions and the skill 5 questions all look very similar. They'll look like this. The pronoun in phrase something or in line X refers to which of the following. So when you see a question like this, you should follow the strategies for skill 5. Here are the strategies. First, read the sentence with the pronoun. Then, Look at the sentences before that sentence for nouns that agree with the pronoun. When I say agree here, I mean something like singular pronouns will have a singular noun. Plural pronouns agree with plural nouns. For example, it would agree with chair, but not chairs. Them agrees with chairs, but it does not agree with the singular noun chair. Okay? Finally, read the sentence again. Replace the pronoun with the noun to see if the sentence makes sense. Let's look at some examples. Number one, the pronoun it in line two refers to okay so our first strategy is to read the sentence with the pronoun it is a bright moon which allows farmers to work late into the night for several nights so we know it is singular and all of our answer options are also singular. So, let's try to read the sentence again and replace the pronoun with the nouns in our answers to see if they make sense. The equinox is a bright moon? No, that does not make sense. The sun is a bright moon? No. The night is a bright moon? No. What about C? The harvest moon is a bright moon. Yes, that makes sense. Our answer is C. Number two. Look at the word they in the passage. Click on the word or phrase that they refers to. So first, let's read the sentence. They can work when the moon is at its brightest. Okay, so now let's look to the sentence before and see if there are any nouns that match. They is plural, so we want to look for plural nouns. So here, we see the plural noun nights. Does it make sense in the sentence? Nights can work? No, that does not make sense. Let's keep looking. The next plural noun is farmers. Does that make sense? Farmers can work. Yes, that fits. So our answer is farmers. Okay, so let's review the strategies for skills 3, 4, and 5. Skill 3 questions are stated detail questions. And here are the strategies. Read the question carefully. What exactly does it ask you to find? 
Identify key words in the question. Skim the passage quickly for key words or synonyms. When you have identified the correct part of the passage, read it carefully and read the complete sentences. Finally, look for an answer that has a restatement of the information in the passage. Skill 4 are unstated detail questions. And remember, we said these questions will take a long time to answer correctly. Let's look at these strategies again. Remember that three of the answers are stated, mentioned, discussed, or true. Find those answers that are in the passage. You can do this by following the strategies for skill three. Finally, choose the answer that isn't in the passage. So, this will take longer, but you need to do these strategies to find the correct answer. And finally, skill five, pronoun questions. Read the sentence with the pronoun. Look at the sentences before that sentence for nouns that agree with the pronoun. Then read the sentence again and replace the pronoun with the noun to see if the sentence makes sense. Let's look at some examples. Number one, according to the passage, the National University of the United States. Okay, so what skill is this? This is a skill three question. So, we need to look for the key words. The key words here are the National University of the United States. We can see the key words in the passage right here. The United States does not have a national university, but the idea has been around for quite some time. Now let's look at the answers. We're looking for an answer that is a restatement of this sentence. B does not exist is a restatement of the United States does not have a national university. So B is the answer. Number two, look at the word he in the passage. Click on the word or phrase that he refers to. Okay, this is a skill five question. So first we need to read the sentence with the pronoun. He even selected an actual site in Washington, D.C. Okay, our pronoun is he, so we should look in the sentence before for a singular male noun. Here we have George Washington. Let's put it in the sentence and see if it makes sense. George Washington even selected an actual site in Washington, D.C. Perfect. So this is our answer. Number three. The passage indicates that George Washington did not do which of the following. We see not here so we know it's skill four. So that means 
we need to find three answers in the passage and choose the answer that is not in the passage. So let's read the part about George Washington. George Washington first recommended the idea to Congress. He even selected an actual site in Washington, D.C., and then left an endowment for the proposed National University in his will. Let's look at the answer choices. A. He suggested the concept for a National University to Congress. Yes, we can see that right here. So A is not the answer. B. He chose a location for the National University. That's written right here. So that is not the answer. C. He left money in his will for a national university. This is also in the passage. An endowment is money. So C is not the answer. Therefore, our answer is D. Your assignment for today has questions from skills three, four, and five. So first, when looking at a question, you should identify which skill it is so that you know what strategies to use. As always, if you have any questions or you need help, Send me a message and I will help you. Good luck!